Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and day 13 of Inktober. Today's urban legend is about the slip mouthed woman and I'm sorry if you can hear clicking. I've re-said this intro like five times already but my dogs just keep walking around so I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for that. Okay, so as I said, today's urban legend is the slip mouth woman and it comes from Japan. Um, the urban legend is as follows. The legend has it that a beautiful woman lived in Japan years ago, but one day her husband found out that she had fell in love with another man, so he came home and slit her mouth ear to ear, and she died from the blood loss. Her husband said, who will think you're beautiful now? She goes and asks the child, am I beautiful? If the child says no, she will kill him or her. If the child says yes, she will then take down her mask and ask again, am I beautiful now? If the child says yes, she will kill them. If the child says no, then the child will get killed as well. Some kids found a way to confuse her by saying so-so or average. It will confuse her long enough for them to run away. I hope you guys enjoyed today's urban legend. Um, let's talk about the artwork a little bit. Uh, in the beginning of this, I the line work, it looked very childlike and almost like a coloring book page, but I did see the end result in my head, even though I didn't like the line work. So I decided to finish it anyway, partly because there was really no time to sketch anything else. And I thought it would turn out good. Um, I also tried to use a little bit of salt in this piece. I'm seeing a lot of people use salt to do like the watercolor um, effect in that sense. So I did try to give it a go to add some texture to this piece and I actually really liked how it turned out. I did have some trouble with her hands that were holding the scissors and also the inside of her mouth, but I didn't want to um, draw her with the surgical mask on. I just kind of wanted her to be holding it so you could see the whole gory side of this urban legend and you know it's October so I wanted it to be a little bit more spooky because if I'm gonna be spooky it might as well be in October. <laughs> I also did the um, the kind of storybook uh, border for this one as well. I'm really liking how that's turning out and I wanted to play with that a little bit more and do kind of like a, a straight bottom and then like a rounded top just to kind of see what my options were. Um, also, I've been using um, Arches watercolor paper, paper for like the last three pieces that I'm working on because I, um, I ran out, well, I, I didn't run out yet, but um, first of all, I was really excited to try the paper and I would eventually run out of the paper that I had before Inktober was over. So I wanted to make sure that I was fully stocked on paper. And it's the Arches 140 pound hot pressed watercolor paper that I'm using today. And I have to say, you guys, I absolutely love this paper. So expect a review of that paper in the future. I also want to apologize. I feel like this video is very rambly, but it is very late here. It's 11.23 p.m. It's been a long day. I had to take my son to the doctor. He ended up with strep throat, and um, I didn't get to even start on this piece till about 8 o'clock tonight. So I, I did warn you guys yesterday that it would be later than usual, but um, yeah. So this video is a little bit shorter as well, so it would be faster to upload. Um, Courtney also wanted me to let you guys know that she is also having some computer problems tonight. So her video will not be posted tonight. She will have two from her tomorrow. So here is the finished piece of the Slip Mouth Woman Urban Legend. The word of the day is pinned in the comment section. So make sure you comment that word for your chance to be entered in the giveaway that we're doing on November 3rd during the live stream. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more, and I will see you guys tomorrow.